Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, not a complaining video about the fundamentals of Bitcoin, but a TA video. As many of you still want to hear these videos, but I'm going to combine them more and more with these um, mindset videos about the industry and everything else, because I know that I am one of the people that thinks different and I want to share my opinion. But let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what my crazy mind is thinking about the chart. This is the first one, the four hour chart. Um, is my face on the right spot? It is. Uh, you can see on the four hour chart that we are down below the EMA ribbon. This is the beautiful ribbon that flashed bearish over there. It crossed bearish. Um, we are even breaking that support level of the log logarithmic growth curve, that line that we had support um, over there and over there. We did break it before over there in this area and then we bounce above that support line. So let's see if that is going to happen again. We are breaking it now over here. Are we going to bounce it back above that level and then flip bullish again on that uh, beautiful EMA ribbon. Um, at the bottom, you can see the RSI is bottoming out. It's going a little bit sideways. It needs to go up. And the MACD uh, just crossed to the downside. So uh, let's see if we can cross to the upside before creating a new lower low on this one as well. That's how I look at the four hour chart. We can see on the side um, the volume. You know, it's we are touching base at that massive volume over there. We are seeing a huge gap over here. So that would be logically uh, an area to revisit the 40K area, in my opinion, guys. Now, let's go to the next one. <clears throat> we are going to zoom out a little bit. You can see some dogs walking here. That's uh, Kenzo and Fino, the dogs of my parents-in-law. On the day chart, we can see these green lines. You see, we had support, support. Here, the green line is resistance. We broke that resistance over here, just to show we broke. And we are now retesting that line. Are we retesting and then bouncing? That's the question. Or are we going to break down into that line again and bam, back to that support level of 29K and then go up to there? Both things are possible. But if we look um, at the RSI on the bottom, then we can clearly see this downward trend line that we found resistance every time here and the green line coming up. And then when we broke out, that was that massive run. Now we see the same now again, we have this downland, downward trend line. You're finding like resistance, resistance. Oh, I'm going to draw a little bit resistance, resistance, even here, resistance, um, resistance. Then we broke out. And now we retesting that green line. Does it mean we are going to fly up? Like here, we broke out, retesting that green line. Are we going to fly up? We did fly up over there. Are we going to fly up again over here? So that is the question, I think. Now, if we zoom out a little bit more to the five day chart, we can see this one. Um, on the five day chart, it's a Gaussian channel. You know, we've been talking about this here already for over two years now. And um, the moment we break into the Gaussian channel is not good. And when we break the midline, it's terrible. And when we go to the bottom, it's even worse. But when we break the bottom, that is when I tell you guys, this is bearish. And um, like, then we are in the bear run. Now we are still moving bearish because we are being going down from the top to the bottom. So we are in a bearish move. But for me, it's not a bear market yet. So the bear market for me is when this happens, this red thing. So when the green Gaussian channel turns completely red, that is when the bear market is definitely started and when we are like completely going down for a lot of months. Now, we don't see the red yet. So for me, no bear market yet because on the weekly, and then I will show you in the next chart, we're still creating uh, not a lower lows, but still a higher low than the previous um, low. We touch the bottom again. We are going to go see in two days and 17 hours how this weekly candle is going to close. I hope it will close a little bit higher so that we have a long way to the bottom as a long way to the bottom maybe can um, help us to see this reversal to the midline again that is now around 46k and the top is around 57k. Now the weekly that is what I was talking about just a second ago. Um, you know we have a low over here. We have a high over there, a higher low over here 
a higher high over there. It's tiny bit higher, but it is a higher high. And then we had a higher low. I'm counting the bodies. The higher low was at the moment 36,300, the body. The previous one was around this level, 31,700. So the, as long as this body, the next five days, this last candle is closing above this body, I am still seeing a higher low on the weekly time frame. And yes, also, I have seen now, to be very honest, around that higher low, last time we saw a long flag. When we saw that long flag, just watch what happens. We see the long flag. The green is going down before it turns up. Now, now we have a long flag and we can see the green maybe coming down before it will turn up. The Bam Bam does work also on the weekly, in the daily, in the five minute, in the one minute, all the charts. So if you want to um, sign up to the Bam Bam, go to the bitcoinfamily.com. If you want to start trading, then use the links down below my videos uh, because we have a $4,100 bonus plus 30% discount on Bybit. OKX, OKX, I need to say nowadays, it's $5,000 bonus, up to $5,000 bonus by just signing up and depositing some Bitcoins over there. Femex, Primacy, all of the exchanges use the links down below um, because we use the fees that we earn because of this to build schools and help poor people all over the world. Now we are going to jump into some more amazing charts that you need to see over Bam. So this chart you can see as bearish and bullish. This is the Bitcoin reserve risk. Why I am saying that you can see this one as bearish and bullish. So why can you call this bearish and bullish? Like look at 2014. The moment we went into this green box and down and touched the bottom, that was the bottom of that bear market. Do you see this? Same in 2017. The moment we went into this green box over there that was um, in the top the bear market the question now is did we get out too quickly and too fast should we have went out like a little bit more curved so is this now the moment that we enter the bear market and go down or is this the moment that we should be buying because it's in the green area and it's one of these moments, but we quickly moved up above and below again. That is what I'm figuring out at the moment. And to be very honest, whatever it is, every moment you would have bought in the green box would be a massive profit at the moment, wherever you bought every time again. So that is how I look at the market. Yes, it could be a bearish signal, it could be the start of the bear market, but yes, every bear market is there to buy. So you should start buying in my opinion. Now, other charts like this one, they are telling me a complete different story. This one is telling me something else. This one is telling me we have the 200 day moving average over here. You can see the orange. You can see the Meyer multiple. You can see this top, uh, the top of the Meyer multiple would be 2.4. The bottom would be 0.8. Now we can all see what these colors represent. Now the Meyer multiple is again bottoming out at that green line. And for this one as well, if you look to the left and to every period that we bottomed at that green line or below that green line, was a buying opportunity. 2015, a huge buying opportunity. 2019, a huge buying opportunity. 2020, a huge buying opportunity. Here again in 2021, huge buying opportunity. We are again bottoming at that green line and we are even seeing a small reverse to the top. So for me, there's a huge buying opportunity. Also, when you look to the top of the chart, we are at the green line. That is the Maya multiple at 0.8. The top of the Maya multiple is at 2.4. If we would reach the top of the Maya multiple at 2.4, we would be at the 100k level. So I don't know what it is with people that they don't understand that they should be buying at these moments because it's at the bottom. 
Uh, but now they are freaking out. Now they are shouting, oh, we are bear market. What? Even if it would be a bear market, you should be happy. You should be buying. Now, next chart. Then we have this one, the entity adjusted dormancy, oh, dormancy flow. My God, my English. Um, same, showing me exactly the same. I cannot point to one moment in history when we entered this green box that I shouldn't have been buying. Every moment the line went into the green box was an ultimate buying opportunity that could have converted your capital into way more capital afterwards. And now again, we are in that beautiful green box. So do you really think that's the moment now to sell your Bitcoins? Or do you think this is the moment to buy more and more and more Bitcoins, to sell your house and go all in? Let's be honest, when you would have sold your house over here and went all in in 2012, you would be a billionaire. When you would have sold your house in 2015 and went all in over there, you would be uh, maybe a millionaire. When you would have sold your house and went all in here in 2019, you would also be a millionaire. So I can't say that these moments are bad moments. These moments are the moments for you to buy. Hopefully that is a little bit clear. In this chart is very simple, guys. The pinkish area is the top and the bottom. The blue line is the line that we have been following in average. So just look what this line is doing. This means uh, 2.5 is uh, 100k, 10.6 is uh, a million, and this is uh, 10 million. So if we would keep following this line, and yes, we would be moving up and down all the way, whatever you want. We can be moving like, okay, let's, let's draw a little bit so you can see. Maybe we will move like this and that and this and that and whatever it is that we will be moving inside that pinkish area, the target for 2030 is around like $1 million. So keep buying. It's, it's very simple. Keep buying. I don't see this happening. I don't see this happening. Yeah. Or the whole world needs to uh, collapse. Maybe the whole economical system and everything else. Now. Then we have this chart. I found this one on Twitter. The shout out is to the guy that posted on Twitter. Holy shit, his name is not on the chart. Uh, he simplified the view, but I really like it. Um, you know, he said we had this huge blue wick over here. Then we had this um, yellowish box, followed up by red, positive, followed up by blue, bearish, and then by the yellow bull market. Now, we had again that wick. We had that first bearish yellow box. Then we went up a little bit at that red box. Then we again have that blue box. We still need to see another bull market, huge fifth wave bump all the way up to whatever level it could be. Could be 1K, could be 200K, but this simplifies the view. Really nice chart. And then I want to end the video with this one. Um, this one is very simple, guys. <laughs> I, li I love it because it's really funny. Um, look. This guy is telling him, ah, this bear market has been going on for three months. Can you believe how much I have had to suffer? And then the other guy is thinking, oh my God, I had 2017, I had 2018 bear market, I had 2020 bear market. Um, does this guy even know what he's talking about? And then you look to the last image and then you see how 2017, 18 and 2020 bear market look compared to where we are now. So that means you need to always zoom out in Bitcoin and try to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day instead of about freaking out on every single minute change in the charts. Now, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!